Oh my god. It finally arrived. It actually arrived about a week ago. Now, if you don't know what the dbrand grip case is or you haven't heard of it yet, it's dbrand's, I think, their first venture into doing an actual case. They actually launched an Indiegogo campaign a few months back as a pre-order system, basically, just to get general interest from what it seemed like. And it was widely successful. Now, there's nothing too special about the unboxing part of it, uh, though they did nail the presentation, like, for a case. It comes in a really nice box. Uh, but the case itself is actually really, really nice. It's just a bumper style case, as you can see. So the whole back is actually exposed. That way it's actually uh, compatible with DeepRan's own skins, so you still see the skin while still having a nice case. The biggest thing with this case is that, or hence the name Grip, is that it's really, really, really freaking grippy. Like even on my desk, I planted it, just, it just doesn't move. The buttons for it too, for like the power and the volume and stuff on this side, they're actually really nice as well. They're super clicky. It's satisfying. It's one thing that cases like just never, never get right. I have the official fabric skin for the Pixel 2 as well, and I really like this case as well. It does a good job of just being like the proper case. Buttons feel good on this one too, but the issue I was having is being in my pocket, like debris would line up along the edges on the phone, so I'd have to take it out and wipe it off. And I have the same issue with this one, so. Apparently my pockets are just really dirty all the time, no matter how clean they are. Now with a week of use so far, I haven't really run into too many issues, but just this morning I actually noticed down at the bottom here, it's probably just from coming in and out of my pocket, the part that actually grips started coming out from the case, but I was able to just kind of push it back in. So part of the bundle packages that you could get based on the perks and everything, you also got your choice of skins. And I have never owned a deep print skin before, so this is going to be my first time putting one on. I got three different ones in here. I got the, just the matte black, which pretty much all of them I came with, I think. And then you could choose or add on an extra skin. And I got the uh, carbon fiber white and the carbon fiber black skins. I'm going to do the full white out on mine. So the fun part of this video is going to be me installing one of these skins or applying one of these skins for the first time and see if I fuck it up or not. Sorry if the camera shakes a bit. I don't have a proper setup to do uh, over the head shots, so I'm kind of like on my knees, cramped behind the tripod trying to do this all in frame. Uh, but yeah, the only extra tool that's required for the skins is a hairdryer. But I don't own a hairdryer. I have a heat gun, so that'll have to do. It's kind of low mode, so yeah. But otherwise, um, there's a couple different versions of the skin. So this one is just the standard skin. They have a precision cut skin as well, which will actually go around the edges of the phone and everything as well, at least for the Pixel 2. I don't think all phones have it. But the uh, precision skin is not necessary if you're using the case with it, because the case covers up all the corners and sides anyway. So, yeah. Alright, heat gun's plugged in. Hasn't been using forever, so it kind of stinks a little bit. And I've watched their actual install video a couple times now. It's pretty straightforward for these guys, so main thing, take the phone out of the case. You gotta give the phone a good wipe down. I just have general screen cleaner here from Office Depot and just a standard microfiber cloth to get it all wiped down. Now from the other case, I don't know if we'll be able to show it here or not, on the top corners of the glass portion here from the fabric case, I uh, kind of scratched them a bit, unfortunately. But that's what the skin's for. Yeah, I want to make sure there's no dust and debris on it. That way the adhesive can stick to it properly. All right, I'm calling that good. So the first thing the video shows is removing the skin, but then putting the paper back on in a certain way. And this one's just below the fingerprint sensor. Basically, you apply the skin in three different parts, and you use the paper to only let certain sections actually get adhered to the phone, which is actually pretty clever. The hairdryer or heat gun, whatever you end up using if you get one of these, is pretty much for the last step of the process to get the skin to actually form around the corners. I might have to do this part slightly off camera because this you gotta be precise with. I'll try to do it in frame as best I can. Yeah, I'm going to do this slightly out of frame. And now the nice part is if you do mess it up on the first try, you can peel it off and try pretty much as many times as you need to, but yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Cool. Yeah, I think I got, got it on that one. So yeah, so you do this first, this top section first according to the video. And then once you got it on there, you think you got it lined up right, you just apply pressure. And then from there, 
according to the video. Take it, do this, so that you get the bottom portion exposed, and you can hear the bottom portion. And then you just make sure it's all lined up, which from up top it should be, but you can adjust it if need be. Yeah, I think that looks good to me. Pretty much if you get that top portion lined up just right, like you nail that, the bottom portion should be cake. You can just adhere that part, slide this out. And that video makes it seem easier than it is. And then finish applying pressure. There it is. Let's get apply. And then you use the hair dryer to get the edges. So you do one side at a time, heat it up for a few seconds, and then apply pressure so that way the edges actually form and go down against the uh, the rounded corners of the phone. So we're gonna do that. And to taking heat to my phone, not sure I'm exactly a fan of. Luckily this heat gun has a low mode. Yeah, so I don't know if that'll pull focus or not. Now you can see the edge is actually formed to the rounded corner of the edge there. And you just do that per side and then it should be good to go. And there it is. So the standard fit one's actually not too bad to do. Pretty straightforward. Precision fit one, like I mentioned, it'll actually do all the edges of the phone too. So that one, even in their videos they say, is much more difficult to do, which I can imagine. But standard fit's gonna be great if the bumper case is gonna hide the edges anyway. Put this back in, we'll see how this looks. Not too shabby. Oh yeah, that looks dope. Feels like I have a new phone. I love it. I can't stop feeling it. So yeah, that was a pretty quick and painless process and looks super good. I love the carbon fiber look. The white looks awesome, just a contrast with the black and everything like that. I did right after I pre-ordered this through the Indiegogo campaign, they came out with a neon green carbon fiber. So I might order that and swap the skin out. Yeah, if you're not going to use a case, I'd recommend getting the precision fit skin because that'll cover all the corners and everything too. The couple minutes that I was playing with the skin without having the case on, um, finger kept catching the edge of the skin itself, so I can see that getting annoying pretty quickly. Hey, the skin feels great. I love the color and have a bunch of stuff available too. D brand website, I'll link in the description. Uh, go check them out. This was not a sponsored video. I paid for this with my own not hard earned money through the Indiegogo campaign that they did a while back. Just wanted to check it out. Figured I'd make a video and show you guys. So like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff and see you in the next one. Peace.